suicide just reached from number 10 to now the number nine leading cause of death in Tennessee. And our aging seniors, especially our uh, veterans, um, older men, um, suicide is so prevalent that the National Institute of Mental Health has declared this a public health emergency. You know, Mental Health America of the Mid-South has been around since 1946. Uh, nationally, MHA was started in 1909. And really one of our first programs was our aging and Alzheimer's programs to help uh, caregivers and people with a new diagnosis of Alzheimer's. Uh, so our, our veterans, our teachers, our parents and grandparents, they've always been very important to us. From the standpoint of a board, I've watched the organization evolved over the past 10 years that I've been affiliated with them in terms of the kinds of programs and services that they provide for aging, for family members who are uh, caregivers for persons with cognitive dif difficulties and disorders and dementias. What sets us apart is probably that we're more boots on the ground than some. Uh, we're very accustomed to doing things like our in-home visits uh, for older caregivers and teaching them one-on-one -on -one in their dining room or in their bathroom better bathing and dressing techniques, better nutrition tips. We also train nursing home and assisted living staff. We go out and speak at uh, geriatric organizations, at senior centers. It is vitally important to be aware of the needs of the population what the, that we're serving, as well as other behavioral health organizations are serving so that we can we can adapt and I think that's part of what Mental Health America Mid-South has done over the years adapted to the needs adapted to the different ways in which we need to address mental wellness as well as mental illness and mental health issues. We know we do a pretty good job but it's always nice when the community can pat you on the back, give you a handshake, and recognize you and your staff and your board for the hard work that we do day in and day out. We're so proud of our aging and Alzheimer's program, and we're just honored to be part of this ceremony and part of the SAGE Awards.